So today we're here in Dublin, Ireland. We're going to be doing a walkthrough tour of the medieval castle. Although much of it has been destroyed and rebuilt, we're going to take a tour inside and maybe we can learn a little bit of the history of the area and the castle itself. Let's check it out. Dublin Castle, one of the most important buildings in the history of Ireland. The castle was built right in the heart of the city. You can see it here on this old map. Look for the number 23. From the year 1204 through the year 1922, it was the seat of English and later British rule in Ireland. The castle was originally a medieval fortress under the rule of King John of England. It had four corner towers connected by high curtain walls surrounding a large central enclosure. The castle was built on elevated ground, which was once occupied by an earlier Viking settlement. It remained mostly intact until a major fire caused severe damage to much of the building in April 1684. Despite the extent of the fire, parts of the medieval and Viking structures survived and can still be explored by visitors today. But first, let's learn about the castle as it stands today. Following the fire of 1684, in the late 17th and 18th centuries, the castle was rebuilt and transformed from a medieval castle into a Georgian palace. The new building included a suite of grand reception rooms known as the State Apartments. These palatial spaces accommodated festivities such as state balls and banquets. Over the centuries, Dublin Castle has been a host to many famous figures, including Benjamin Franklin, Queen Victoria, Charles Dickens, John F. Kennedy, Nelson Mandela, and Queen Elizabeth II. Today, over a quarter of a million people visit the castle annually. Here we find remnants of the original medieval castle, the wardrobe tower, also known as the record tower. This quintessential medieval tower is one of the oldest, most intact, and most important structures in the city of Dublin. Dating back to the year 1204, it was largely constructed during the reign of Henry III, King of England and Lord of Ireland. Its walls are as many as 4.8 meters thick in some spots. In the year 1811, the tower was renovated to complement the new chapel being built next to it. The height of the tower was raised, and the top was capped with new masonry battlements. Like all the early buildings of the castle, the tower has had a variety of functions over the centuries. It was once the king's wardrobe tower. For armor, clothes, and the king's treasure were all stored there. The tower was later used to house prisoners, and by the 17th century, it was renamed the Gunner's Tower and may have served as the headquarters to the Master Gunner of Ireland. Finally, in the year 1811, it contained a different kind of treasure, in the form of state papers and records. Expansively bound books and ancient manuscripts were all neatly arranged and safely stored here up until 1989. Now, let's take a look inside the chapel. Oh. 
A chapel has been present at Dublin Castle since at least 1242. The current chapel, known as the Chapel Royale, was designed by Francis Johnston and was opened on Christmas Day in the year 1814. It became known as the Chapel Royale after King George IV attended service on September 2nd, 1821. Beneath the grounds of Dublin Castle lies a subterranean chamber. Excavations have unearthed parts of the original medieval structure along with the remains of a defense embankment built by Dublin's earlier Viking inhabitants. A stone-covered section which has been preserved within the massive circular walls of the 13th century powder tower. There is also a river which still flows under the castle grounds today. Originally, the water would have been diverted to fill the moat that surrounded the castle. Other medieval remnants on the grounds of Dublin Castle include a part of the early town wall with an archway that allowed the moat to pass under it, although it has been blocked since the year 1400. Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. If so, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Once again, thanks for watching.